Hey, you guys. Good morning. Shalom. Sila. Um, I want to ask the Father to agree with me in this video, so I have went to him to clarify two things that have been completely misproportioned and um, brought out of proportion. So I want to explain this. Uh, when I asked my son to play the flute, and uh, we're talking about King David, we know that King David played the flute. We also know um, there were instruments in our Hebrew time of um, those in the past. I want to explain this, the word Shemitah. When I use the word Shemitah, yes, many Jews use that word. We use the Feast of Trumpet word, the Day of uh, Atonement and the Ten Days of Awe and Judgment, and talking about repentance, and Leviticus chapter 23 through 25 that I had mentioned before. I want to clarify this because there was a little bit of misunderstanding on a few of my emails and other channels that have misunderstood. The Sabbath on the seventh year, the year of Jubilee. We go by the year of Jubilee. I say Shemitah sometimes and um, Tisha, Tishra or um, um, Kupler because many Jews use that word. Judaism. I'm just, and I'm expressing this this way because it has to be clarified. Um, I'm a Hebrew and we know that as sons and daughters of light and those that follow Christ and those that worship the Father in holiness understand we go by the holy word and what that speaks of. The reason why I use the word Shemitah, then I have in the past, um, just in the last what couple weeks of videos, I've said that word is because some don't relate in the other way. Of course, I observe the Sabbath, I observe the Passover and unleavened bread, the Feast of first fruits, the Feast of Weeks, the Feast of Trumpets, the year of Jubilee and Sabbath of the seventh year. Now, what I do not go by is the old Mosaic law because Christ came after that. And I'm going to say Jesus. Let's say it this way. Jesus, the Messiah, came. Once he came, there no longer was the same Mosaic law. So we were, they, there was no more animal sacrifices of lambs. <clears throat> excuse me, of lambs. Because we know that the Messiah was crucified. Now he was our Savior, and now he will be our Redeemer. And he will be Christ, as he is Christ in heaven, okay? Which is the Son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Now, we, I want to explain, explain this because I had a few emails and misunderstanding. I want to make sure that, I, that, that the couple that have unsubscribed or the couple that are having a conflict with what I said is not blown out of proportion, but is completely within reason of the Holy Scriptures. If we don't follow the uh, Old Testament, how can we follow the New Testament? Because there's nothing that we should not be going through in the Old Testament that needs to be cared for. Just as in chapter 24 of Leviticus, care of the tabernacle lamps, the bread of tabernacles. And this is when the tabernacle was being um, brought about. So we need to understand that just as in chapter 25, of Leviticus, the law concerning slavery, right through the end of verse 39 all the way through 55. Our people, Hebrews, now they, here in the United States, we were, our people were slaves. Okay, we weren't treated, they, our ancestors weren't treated as slaves were supposed to be treated. Okay, there was a lot, huge difference in what had taken place. But when we walk with Christ, we walk through this narrow path. We know that there's a lot that happens during this time of misunderstanding, especially in September. If you go by the Enoch calendar, you're actually at the end, of, going towards the end of July. There's a five-day difference between the Enoch calendar of spiritual understanding and the Gregorian calendar. And I don't go by, I would say, the Hebrew calendar as the Judaism's do, Judas do, which would be the Jews, Judaism uh, religion. Now, they follow the Star of Solomon, which they say is the Star of David, but it is a Babylonian um, star that Solomon made uh, that he was basically trying to control demons because he was with a Babylonian woman. So that's very different. Then following the morning star. Okay, the star of David means the morning star, the day that Jesus, the Messiah, was born, Yeshua HaMashiach. Very different. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up all these things is there is so much confusion this month. So if there is a five-day difference in the Enoch calendar, understand that actually September would not be for another so many weeks in Enoch calendar. Okay, the calendars and so forth, the way the days that Moses uh, 
was led by and understood. Now when we talk about the Hebrew calendar and the Judaism religion, they go into Kabbalah, which is not, it's not Christ-like. It's different. But I do know a few Jews, and so what I want to say to that is, being Hebrew, I cannot go by that. But I do mention it from time to time in the videos, but I, I believe that right now, as of this moment, I won't mention it as Shemitah, because that's not, I go by Feast of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Year of Jubilee. So, I follow the um, Torah, which would be in the beginning of the Holy Word. I, I go by the Old Testament. So, I just want to explain this, that in chapter... 25, the Sabbath of the seventh year, verse 1 says, And the Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land which I give you, then the land shall keep a Sabbath to the Lord. Six years you shall sow your field, and six years you shall prune your vineyards, and gather its fruits. But in the seventh year there shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath to the Lord. You shall neither sow your field nor prune your vineyard. What grows of its own accord of your harvest you shall not reap, nor gather the grapes of your unattended vine, for it is a year of rest to the land. And a Sabbath produces the land shall be food for you, for you, for your male and female servants, your hired man, and the strangers who dwell with you. For your livestock and the beasts that are in the land are all produced shall be for food. This is interesting because I was really blessed this weekend with food from a family member who I wouldn't even expect to be doing that. They had mentioned it a long time back and actually blessed with a lot of food, even canned food, rice and beans that I've had before, and pasta enough to share with two other neighbors because we love thy neighbors ourselves. We love our Father with our whole soul, might, and spirit, our whole everything, all of us. And we also follow the commandments, which are the Ten Commandments, and also the Passover, the unleavened bread, the Sabbath. So these are things that are important, and you grow, and you grow in your walk with the Holy Spirit, knowing that you're following the Messiah and doing what you're supposed to. So as Jesus was Jesus here on earth, He's Christ in heaven, and He is at the right hand of His Father. This is where He will. He's taking the throne. He's always going to have the throne. He will rule the fourth, the last kingdom. Okay, for that thousand years. So I want to say this. I don't want to be confusing to anyone, and I don't want to uh, stumble anyone. I want to be humble in saying I apologize if there was any kind of um, undiscretion or miscommunication to this. And this is where I said I've struggled through uh, parts of this channel where um, those have had conversations with maybe Jews and, and, and do not really believe in the Messiah, but they believe in the Most High, see? And, that, and you, have to, you have to accept the Messiah in order to get to the Father. You cannot see, understand the Father without going through Jesus Christ. And it's just the way it is. So, you know, Yeshua HaMashiach, He gave us a model to follow. And He gave us a way to, to understand and approach, approach the ministry and so forth. So I want to make this clear that I apologize, okay, if there was a misunderstanding. But no, I do not go by the Judaism laws. I go by the Enoch calendar. I go by what the Holy Word says, period. Now, as far as uh, the calendar, we are using Gregor Gregoric calendar because that's Roman. That's the Roman Empire. That's the Roman times. That's what we had to go by then. That's what we have here in the United States. But when it comes to different times of the year, unleavened bread, feast of tabernacles, things like that, I go by the Holy Word. I go by the, uh, the Enoch calendar. So I don't know. Their Hebrew calendar could be very different on times with that. So this is what I'm expressing. The year of Jubilee, and you shall count seven Sabbaths of year for yourself, seven times seven years, and the time of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be your you forty-nine years. Then you shall cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement, you shall make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Yes, I get that day of atonement, but at the same time, we have to understand... See, you're going by two calendars, and so things happen in this time period because most, most individuals... Most human beings here are going by Gregorian calendar. So they're looking, it's just, it can be kind of confusing. And being Hebrew and then also under, trying to explain also if there are Christians to understand this and that want to also apply this into their life and try to remain as holy as they can with that. So there's a lot, you know, you want to make sure, and I want to make sure that there's no blasphemy, there's no misunderstanding with that. Um, it says, then verse 10, you see, because if we're looking at the day of the seventh month, which would be July, right? We also did some other things earlier this year. The Passover was not when most people do Easter, so it's completely a different day. So, 
And you shall consecrate the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land of all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you, and each of you shall return to his possessions, and each of you shall return to his family. Now, 11 through 15 is talking about that because there are many Jews going back to Israel. Now, that would be normally, I'm not in the Middle East, I'm not in Israel, I'm not in the actual, um, from Canaan or in the area where um, even uh, Abraham or Moses ever were, but I'm here where I, where I reside. I've been many places in the U.S., so I'm saying that is, we're not there, but we can still call our debtors and apologize. We can still write letters. Even I have had bills and received bills that I never had, and it was a misunderstanding with Caesar. So I don't owe them, but I want to let them know, look, this is the, the um, year of Jubilee. This is the year, the time to repent and to say, you know, I apologize that you think I owe this. I did not. I never did this. There was a misunderstanding, but it's a good time to talk to the Heavenly Father and apologize for that. That's just something you can do. It's not something I'm telling you you must do, but I'm saying... For me, I'm trying to be as holy as I can, remain, um, remain in growth with the Heavenly Father, and I want to go to, to be caught up in the child to the Messiah. Okay? So this is what I wanted to explain. And I did it with the uh, camera being uncovered because I want to make sure that you're hearing me and not seeing me and hearing that remorse in my heart that it's sad that many get this very confused and many speculate and then call you um, that you're in the Judaism faith or that you're worshiping wrong things and I need you to understand it's a feast of trumpets so it's, we need to be very clear about the understanding that the Messiah is expressing here that we need to go by the Old Testament as well and not the Mosaic law okay we're not sacrificing lambs <laughs> alright the Messiah came, was crucified. So I just want to express this and make you understand where I'm going with this, okay? Um, provisions of the seventh year. There's lots of provisions. So go ahead, if you please, if you understand this, wonderful. If not, it's still kind of confusing. Just finish reading uh, Leviticus chapter 25 from verse 23, uh, redemption of poverty, all the way up to lending to the poor, verse 38, okay? I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for listening. Many blessings. I have a few more videos to make, and I will also be sending you emails. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I'll show you.